All right, hopefully I got six minutes here, so let's see if I can manage to get this out. Uh, I watched the entire rest of the episode uh, from the first appearance of Len Carriou, uh up through the end, and I think that it, you know, I went into I went into this episode with the mentality that that at that section of the episode was the good part, and that was what was going to salvage this from the quasi lamentation status that uh, Lore gave to it. And I stand by that decision, but only kind of just barely. It is definitely a subpar episode, but there is uh, there are there are numerous touches of quality that I think help to elevate it to the just reasonably acceptable uh, level on uh, the negative ten to ten uh, quality scale. I would give this about a two. It is just barely enough to qualify as a decent episode. It has some interesting ideas, and the performance of Len Carriou as uh, Janeway Sr. slash the ravenous alien vulture uh, is mostly quite subtle. You can very definitely pick up on the moment at which he switches from pretending to be Janeway Sr. to uh, picking up on the idea that... Uh, uh, Janeway intends to defy him and is, can slip through his cr uh, clutches, and at that moment he becomes desperate, and he probably would have win won if that had not been the case. So, uh, you know, very standard TV villain uh, situation. Uh, the more you tighten your grasp, the more systems will you get it. Um, so, uh, like I said, he does a spectacular performance. He comes on very strong as uh, uh, this this uh, figure that uh, was the rock that uh, Janeway uh, grew around originally, uh, you you get the impression of the the father that she was trying to make proud of her as she was growing up and becoming uh, the scientist and captain that she would later become. Um, and we get a lot of personality uh, info dumping that doesn't really come across in Janeway's own performance, or Mulgrew's own performance as Janeway. Um, but, you know, it, it uh, plays kind of into uh, the portrayal that was intended. Um, I'm actually, uh, uh, to, to buy time while I was uh, getting, getting this... Uh, uh, situation straightened out so that I would have my six minutes to record this video. I um, started watching another episode, and the one that I picked out was The Cloud, because it was one that I like very much and have not seen in a while. And uh, it uh, features Janeway talking to herself in the beginning about the distance that Starfleet captains are supposed to project, and the idea that she has to adapt to uh, to uh, portraying herself in a different way uh, because of how isolated the crew is. And so you see in the cloud how she's intentionally creating the Captain Mom look for herself. It's really interesting to think about how Genevieve Bujold would have portrayed herself instead if she had been hired. Because from the small uh, snippet of her original, uh, I think, Captain Nicole Janeway uh, that, we, that we got when she was auditioning, it seemed as though she was going to be a much more hardline militaristic uh, presence, and it's really that that kind of seems like it lines up more with what most of the writers, other than Jerry Taylor, wanted a, the quote unquote female captain to be in the first uh, Star Trek show that would uh, centered around that. So uh, it, it's it's really interesting to think about. Anyway, I'm running low on time, so I got to try to wrap this up. Um, Len Cario does a really good job up until the moment where he has his villain turn, and at that point it really accelerates and, and he turns into the devil very quickly and uh, rants and raves about how Janeway is going to fall into his clutches eventually, even though we have already by that point found out that he is a alien parasite in Janeway's mind and uh, uh, probably a na Del Delta Quadrant native species. Uh, one, hat, one bit of headcanon that I've decided upon is that I am going to tie this episode in with the episode flashback earlier in the season. I'm going to say that they are both the same type of creature inhabiting Tuvok in flashback and inhabiting Janeway here. 
and probably use them in, in other episodes besides if I continue to do my fanfiction version of Voyager, which I am very interested in doing. Um, but anyway, so like I said, uh, Len Carriou is amazing, uh, Kate Mulgrew is less amazing, and a lot of the lines that I would want to rewrite are the ones that come out of her mouth, uh, starting with her calling him Daddy instead of Father the first moment. Uh, I, can, I can buy that if she was... Uh, if this was... Uh, a mind speech incidents, but she ha she's actually interacting with this mindscape as though she were talking consciously, and I don't buy her doing that even as a slip of the tongue consciously to call him daddy uh, uh, instead of uh, father. I mean, she's a grown woman. She should be way beyond that. Um, and uh, there, are other, there are other lines later on that I really would like to nitpick uh, to that extent. Uh, and there was at least one moment that I know I wanted to comment on, but I am out of time, so I'm just going to have to chop it off. Uh, decent episode, not great, definitely worth talking about, and I wish I had more time to do that.